Sony Computer Entertainment America presents... A Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Oh, I never get tired of that intro. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. The best Crash Bandicoot game ever. Uka is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None dare to fail to break Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great Uka Uka, it was that infer. Bandicoot! From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. <laughs> Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. So, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, or Crash Bandicoot Warped, as people would call it. Definitely the best Crash game ever made, and I can't go in there, damn it. Although I always did love doing this. Whee! Actually, I'm going to try something for this playthrough. I'm going to play with the D-pad. Here, everyone always say, you know, the D-pad is the best, but I... Okay, fuck it, I have to do it with analog. I've been playing with analog for so long, and I'm playing as Coco first, because I don't like playing as Coco. Well, in a couple of levels, anyway. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. I can quote this game from start to finish. I love all the lines in this game so much. <laughs> anyway, Crash 3, if you, you guys have never even heard of him, which today's generation probably hasn't, was a platform we made back in the 90s that actually I think is better than Mario 64, but I'm probably one of the few people who say that. <clears throat> but Mario 64 is good in its own way, but I played Crash Bandicoot 3 first. It was actually one of my very first games I ever played as a child. Uh, it was actually the very first game I ever had on the PlayStation. And also, uh, for those of you who don't know this, uh, the reason I'm collecting these boxes is because at the end of each level, you have uh, a box count, and if you get all of the boxes, then you will get a gem. Gems are required in order to, um, oh, 
I kill myself, are required uh, to get the best ending in this game, which is what I'm going for. Now, another thing that was brought in this, well, it's in this game, I've never seen it in any other game, is, um, is the, uh, 103% or 104%. I personally don't know which one is the max completion. I'm just gonna get to when I get all the relics and all the gems and all the crystals and be defeat the final boss. That's what I consider 100% for this game. I don't care what kind of percent I end up with. It just depends on the outcome. No, I need to kill myself. Yeah, this is one thing in this game you're gonna see me do a lot, especially on these um, platformers like this. By the way, uh, Crash Bandicoot is a hallway platformer, and I gotta kill myself again. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I got a game over in just this first level because I can't get all the fucking boxes. <laughs> but I don't care, I still have fun with this game regardless. There we go, I got those. Okay, how many? Uh, 34 out of 51. If you press the triangle button, you can see that. Uh, but basically, for those who don't know what a hallway platformer is, this game does have some 3D elements, but a lot of the game is basically uh, 2D, but you're just going forward in that sense. So, I guess that's what a hallway platformer is. Okay, here, you want to jump? Oh, good. By the way, actually, you can hit that thing up there and die. Okay, I think that's all the boxes. Sweet. And you will always make this jump, don't worry. As soon as you jump, you'll always make it. It's a scripted event. So, see, there we go, we got our first gym. These tiger levels I don't mind that much, it's the jet ski levels that I hate. So I'm gonna do that one next. We'll get into the good gameplay soon enough, I just like the hallway parts of crash. I like that horse thing, like, oh, we got the crystal. Uh, yeah, and also you're not going to see Crash's dance for the first two levels, because I have to get all these. Because when, when you collect a gem and a crystal um, with Crash on any level, well, I think it's any level with Crash, uh, you will automatically, when you get sent back out, you will uh, do a, a dance, which is nicknamed the Crash Bandicoot Dance, which I actually can dance, but I'm not ever going to do it. You can also do tricks on this jet ski too, but depending on which way you're pressing on your button on output. Like here, I'm gonna hold right or left right there. You can do that. You can press up to do a nose dive. Actually, a pretty good way to do dodge enemies and stuff. And these cannonballs will always forever be 2D images. Go. Okay. And it feels so good to LP this game. I don't know why I ever put it off for so long. Okay, controls for the jet ski are pretty annoying at first. Also, watch out for the cannonballs. They are uh, kind of—they do follow you if you get close to them. I think. Well, I know some of them do. I just don't know about all. Of them. Also, do not touch that box. If the bird is on it, you will die. Apparently, I will use its pecker to peck Coco. I, okay, that's getting a real too sick for my taste, but whatever. You get the point. Whee! Oh shit! Um, I also have to admit, this is my favorite Let's Play that SGB ever did. Uh, his, uh, their Crash Bandicoot, uh, Warped playthrough. Hang again, I'm just gonna take it easy. Woo! I'll do another trick up here, because I have to turn a little bit right. And I missed the box. Let's get that one. I had it back. I wonder how long I can go in this game before I die, because I'm actually pretty good at this game. Also, uh, this game was the very first game I ever played with DualShock uh, uh, features, where basically the controller will shake in your hand. I don't know how I managed to get past that. Uh, so, like, if I keep holding in the X button, I will always feel the vibration in my hand. There we go, I got all those. Do I have all the boxes? Uh, I've got two more. Alright, these bombs I don't think follow you. Okay, I'm kind of taking it slow here. The gym, and we are done. Thank God there's not a lot of Coco levels in this game. There's a there's a little bit, but not too much. I love this Hub World theme, by the way. It's one of my favorite songs in video game history. It's the Crash Bandicoot theme. Alright, let's go ahead and get another annoying level out of the way. I think, it, yeah, it's this one, Under Pressure. This is a swimming level. This is a, another gimmick. Well, I don't know if it was introduced in this game or in Crash 2. I can't remember. But I know I don't like it in this game. 
Well, I guess the swim sections are okay. It's just that they feel like they drag on more than necessary. Um, also, as Crash, you get Aku Aku. You can also get him as Coco, but I just never really ran into him. Aku Aku is pretty much like a... Uh, a uh, what, what are they called? In, uh, a sl Crap. Oh, I think I missed a box real quick. It's pretty much like a... Uh, like a Lucky Charm in Sly Cooper, uh, it gives you a free extra hit, because if Crash gets hit once, he, don't, he automatically dies, which I gotta say, this game probably has the best video game deaths I've ever seen. Like, just all the ways, the different ways that Crash can die. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, those eels, by the way, can be kind of fickety, uh, depending on when you register into them. There we go. Music here is kind of good, I guess. Just that one part where the techno kind of kicked in. You can only hit the blowfish when uh, they're not puffing out. Which, I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. Blowfish and pufferfish, I think. Which scared me. Damn it, I'm getting chills down my spine just thinking about it. I don't like those fish. Even to see pictures of them, it creeps me out. Oh yeah, the circle attack. Am I stuck? Alright. Uh, but this is a jet ski. This is a thing that you'll feel the vibration a lot. Uh, just don't get hit with this thing because um, you need it to get some of the boxes here. Also, if you can't tell by now, uh, if you collect uh, these fruit things called Wampa Fruit, if you collect 90, uh, uh, 100 of them, you'll get an extra life. So, this game, of course, does have to rip off Mario, but then again, Mario 64 is the very first one. So, is there one out there that's a 3D platformer that hasn't ripped off Mario? I mean, Mario did it first, so it's not really their fault. <laughs> well, at least that's the way I've always looked at it. But I'm sure there's a hardcore Mario 64 nut out there who say, no, any game that copies its formula is a bad game. Which, personally, I've considered Jack and Baxter and this game to be better than Mario 64, but that's just me. I don't know, I came to Mario 64 a little too late. I don't want to get hit by that electric thing. It's best if you just hug one side of it, that way you don't get hit. There we go. Okay, just watch out for the mines. Just Oh yeah, you can also press X to swim faster, I never said that. And I'll show off the charge attack in just a minute right here. Yeah, basically if you press X, cra uh, the thing will go really fast for just a split second, but you do go a little bit of ways, and it's good for getting across large uh, areas in a short amount of time. But you only see this thing in a couple of levels, because thank god there's not a lot of swimming levels, because I just find these really, really boring after a little while. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. I'm scared, because I don't want to lose this thing. I have to have it. Because it's always carrying you forward, no matter what. Okay, you got the crystal. Alright, get down here, pull that up. No! Oh my god, am I gonna be a, I better be- Okay, good. Come on. Yay, I finished the level. 